Hey, the bass friends. I got a request from one of my uh, subscribers asking me how I go about learning songs. So I thought maybe this might be helpful to others. This is my process, how I do it. Um, and hopefully this will help some others. Um, all right, so number one, learn a song that you love. Uh, you have to be inspired by it. All the songs I've recorded, except one, and I'll explain this, um, or all songs that turn me on as a bassist. I want to know the bass lines. I learned from learning the bass lines, um, and I enjoyed playing them. And I remember there was one song, I won't say which, it was a U2 song, that I kind of just went through the motions. Um, it's got a good bass line, but it really is nothing inspiring for me. So one, you really have to love or be inspired by the song. Uh, and I found the last um, maybe 25 videos I've done have been songs I've heard on the radio. Uh, some from my, you know, I've heard, you know, I've known for many years. And I'm like, that is just such a great bass line. I always like that song, let me learn it. Uh, and of course the bases that inspire you. Uh, I've got a lot on my channel of uh, you too, Adam Clayton's Big Influence um, as well. So one, you have to like the song. Second thing I'll do is use the internet and use YouTube. Um, I'll do a search. I'll see if anyone's done it before. And I'll go through tabs. So uh, I'll do a search on YouTube, use it as a resource. And a lot of the songs that I've done have been done before, but that's okay. Uh, so as one way to learn them, uh, the second thing I do is then do an internet, internet search and I use Ultimate Guitar. Uh, it's a great app looking for tabs um, and I'll do a search for them. I'll print some tabs out, but you gotta be careful because what you see on YouTube and what you see in tabs is not always accurate. So the third thing I do is listen with my ear and play along. So I'll put my headphones on and I'll plug my bass in and uh, what I use, let me show you, hold on a second. This is a nice little unit. This is the Vox uh, amp plug and this plugs into uh, the bass. You run an audio to your audio source, in case of my laptop, uh, and then out to the headphones. So that I'll use and I'll do a close listen. Um, if you're having difficulty with a part, YouTube is a great source as well. I'll find the song on YouTube and then you could just slow it down to 75% or 50%. Um, and then that's really the key. You really gotta use your ears and make sure that what you're playing and what you're hearing is the same. Now, I always just think that I didn't have a good ear um, it's better than I, than I thought, um, and you'll, you'll hear it once you, you kind of play along. And that's really it. So one, find a song you love. Two, use the resources. Do a YouTube search. Uh, see if other people have made videos. Learn from them. Three is tabs. Um, and then four really is the key, is to listen with your ear and practice. Uh, I've done 20, 30, 40 takes sometimes. Uh, it takes time and there's some frustration. I'll record songs and go back the next day. I said, I could do better. And then, you know, doing better. So uh, don't be satisfied with mediocrity. Keep working at it and, um, and have fun doing it. So I started making videos. I was inspired by a number of others out there. Um, and I just started making videos and um, it's been fun. And I've been opened up to a whole world of wonderful bass players here on YouTube. There's a really great community. So uh, thank you to Danny, thank you to Niall, thank you to Neil, uh, who really kind of inspired me. So any questions or comments, leave them down below. Cheers.